Welcome to this Deepleser course on deep learning for text classification. I'm Mandy and I will be your instructor for this course. This course provides an introduction to the field of natural language processing or NLP with a focus specifically on the use of artificial neural networks for text classification and sentiment analysis tasks. Now, before we jump into the course details, let's get a quick introduction to this field of natural language processing. It's at the intersection of the fields of computer science, linguistics, and artificial intelligence, where our field of natural language processing or NLP resides. And the core focus of this field is on human machine interaction. So think machine translation or text to speech, or even automated chatbots. These would all fall under the field of natural language processing. Now within the field of NLP, there are various algorithms that are used to solve various tasks that are made up of various different data types. For the focus of this course, the type of data that we'll be making use of will be text data. And as our algorithms, we'll be making use of artificial neural networks to solve the task of text classification and sentiment analysis. And given all of the different types of tasks and algorithms and data types within this field of NLP, the way that we work with and process the data, as well as apply algorithms to solve these various tasks will vary greatly between them. So here we can see where exactly our focus in this course is going to reside within all of these various different data tasks and algorithms. So now that we have a very general introduction into the field of NLP, let's start going over all of the details for this course. So as we mentioned, our focus here will be to get introduced to the field of NLP with a focus on sentiment analysis and text classification using artificial neural networks. So now let's discuss the prerequisites required to follow this course. As our first prerequisite, you need to have a basic understanding of deep learning and artificial neural networks. So if you happen to be brand new to the field of deep learning, then we recommend you start with our deep learning fundamentals course so that you can gain a good understanding of these foundational topics and then come back and apply those topics in this course. Now, later in the course, we will be jumping into code projects that are implemented across both TensorFlow and PyTorch APIs. And since we'll be working with these code projects, then you will need to have some basic Python coding experience. And since we will be working with these neural network APIs, PyTorch and TensorFlow, it would be recommended to have some experience with these APIs, but it's not a strict requirement. As long as you have some basic Python coding experience, then you'll be able to follow our step-by-step -step walkthroughs of the TensorFlow and PyTorch code whenever we get to these project implementations. We, of course, encourage you to develop your understanding of these APIs, and we have both PyTorch and TensorFlow courses available on deeplizard.com for you to explore. In terms of the resources available for this course, we have plenty of resources to ensure your success of learning about these new topics. For every lesson in the course, we have a corresponding video as well as fully written lecture notes for the corresponding lesson. Each lesson also has its own custom quiz available for you to test your understanding of the new material covered in any given lesson. The course is also full of custom intuitive graphics like the ones that you see here on your screen now, which have all been handcrafted by me. And you will also have exclusive access to the Discord server for this course specifically. So now we will go through an overview of all of the topics that we will be learning throughout this course. Now, the full syllabus for this course is available on deeplizard.com so that you can go through and see the breakdown of each lesson and every topic that we'll be covering. But here we just have some highlighted bullet points of the main items that we will be covering and gaining a thorough understanding of throughout this course. In the first part of this course, we will be learning all of the fundamental topics necessary to understand how we can use artificial neural networks for text classification tasks. And then in the second part of the course, we will move on to implementing all of these topics in code with both the PyTorch and TensorFlow APIs. 
So we will just go over these highlights here so that you can have a better idea of everything we'll be covering in the course together. So first we'll be learning where the task of text classification falls in the field of natural language processing. And then it will gain an understanding for how to use artificial neural networks for text classification tasks. We'll learn about the two main types of models used for text classification, which are n-gram models and sequence models. And we'll learn about the various pre-processing steps that we need to go through to apply to our text data with the main two text pre-processing steps being tokenization and vectorization. We'll spend some time learning about a specific type of vectorization process called TF-IDF encoding. And we'll also learn about word embeddings and embedding layers and how they work to encode text data. We'll then see how various neural network architectures such as multi-layer perceptrons and convolutional neural networks can be used as engram models and sequence models for text classification. And we'll also gain an understanding for how one-dimensional convolutions within a convolutional layer work to process text data in a neural network. Once we get to our project implementation, we'll learn how to organize a text data set that we'll be working with in code for neural network training. And then we will actually build text classification models as neural networks in code. We'll also learn how to apply the various pre-processing steps to a text data set in code as well. And of course, we'll be training and evaluating our networks that we've used for text classification across these code projects. So again, for further detail, be sure to check out the full syllabus on deepblizzard.com where you will see a lesson by lesson breakdown of these topics. Additionally, on deepblizzard.com, you can find the full step-by-step -step breakdown for how to register for this course. And this course is completely self-paced, so you're free to go as slowly or as quickly as you'd like through the content. So just be sure to check out those registration steps available on deepblizzard.com for how to enroll in the course. So I hope you're looking forward to starting the course. We are now ready to begin. Hey, thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. To see more content from us, check out our second channel called Deep Blizzard Vlog on YouTube. And be sure to check out the corresponding blog for this episode on deepblizzard.com for additional resources. And while you're at it, consider joining the Deep Blizzard Hive Mind where you'll gain access to exclusive perks and rewards. Thanks for contributing to Collective Intelligence. I'll see you next time.